Hi everyone, this is lesson number 8 on probability from Actuarial Path, and in this lesson we learn about Bayes' rule. If you remember, in the last lesson we looked at an example where we had your team, your favorite team, playing at home or playing away game. So we said playing at home means that the team is playing in their own stadium in front of their fans. They could be more likely to win at home than away. We said they could win at home, win and played at home, or they might lose, lose and played at home. On the other hand, they could play away and might come up with a win, win and played away. Or they could lose the game, lose and played away. Let's say on average, 60% of the games are played at home. So H is the event that a game is played at home. So the probability of H complement would be 40%. Also, let's say the probability of winning, winning is the event W, given the game is played at home is 75% or 0.75. Also, the probability of winning, given the game is played away, H complement, not at home, is 45%. I would write 0.6, the probability of H, on this branch of the tree. And on the other branch, I have to write 40% because they have to sum to 1. And also, the probability of playing away is 40%. So given the team played at home, the probability of winning, given the play at home, is 75%. So the probability of losing, given they played at home, is 25%. And on this branch of the tree goes the conditional probability of winning, given they played an away game. So that's 45%. And on this branch, I have 55%. Now, let's say you are preparing for an exam. Maybe you're studying so hard for a probability exam coming up. And you don't really pay attention to your team. And you don't know where they're playing or anything like that. You're not really paying attention. But your friend calls you and tells you that, hey, man, we won. Our team won today. And then you ask, do they play at home? Your friend knows that you are studying for probability exam and he asks, how about you tell me the probability of playing at home given that they won? Well, you've not been paying attention so you don't know where they played, but then he tells you they won. And then he tells you to find out the probability of playing at home given they won. What is the likelihood that the team played at home if they won? And Bayes rule answers that question. Given that a win is observed, what is the probability that they played at home? So you, you try to answer this problem in the following manner. What you want to do is prior to the data, your data now is the fact that they won. So a win is your data. Prior to the data, you know that on average about 60% of the games are played at home. And then comes the observation. So there's a data of winning coming. And then post data. You try to find out the probability of playing at home given the data of W or a win is observed. So we call this probability the prior probability and then we call this probability of H given W the posterior so without looking at the newspaper or without going online to find out the score you try to calculate the probability of playing at home given that they won and that's your posterior and it turns out that that's going to be equal to the probability of playing at home times the probability of winning given played at home divided by 
the probability of h times p of w given h plus probability of h complement times the probability of winning given h complement. Let me show you how this formula came about. This is the simplest form of the Bayes rule. Okay. P of h given w is p of h intersection w divided by p of w. Now if you look at the numerator, you can write the numerator as a product of p of h and p of w given h. This is the multiplication law of probability. And we did this in lesson number 5. And lesson number 7, we did what we called the law of total probability. And by the law of total probability, we can write p of w as p of h times p of w given h plus p of h complement times p of w given h complement. So if you plug in your numbers, what do you have? The prior probability of playing at home is 0 0.60. And p of w given at home is 0.75. Divided by 0 0.60 times 0.75 plus the prior probability of playing away is 0 0.40. And the conditional probability of winning given they played away is 0.45. And if you do that, you get 0.7143. And then you tell your friend, there is a 70%, about 71% chance that they played at home if they won. And that's what we call base rule. In general, if you have a partition of the sample space, let's say this is your sample space, which can be partitioned into A1, A2, dot, 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 maybe AK, dot, 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 finally AN. So N partitions of the sample space. So the sample space is equal to A1, union A2, union A3, union A4, all the way up to union AN. And also suppose you have an event, say an event B, which is in the sample space. And you are given the prior probability of A1, the prior probability of A2, and all the way to the prior probability of AN. You also know that the probability that the event B could happen given A1. Let's say you also know that the probability of B given A2 all the way to the probability of B given AN. So the question is, for any K, K could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way N, you may be asked to find the posterior probability of AK given the event B. And that is equal to the probability of AK times P of B given AK divided by the probability of A1 times P of B given A1 plus the probability of A2 times P of B given A2 all the way up to, you sum all the way up to, the probability of AK, I'm sorry, AN times P of B given a n. And that's the general form of base rule. I have an example for you to look at. Alright, look at the examples video which you can find on actorialpath.com. 